Uh, talking of superstars, let's say hello to our next guest. His team are on a run. I think I've got this right. They are 700 games unbeaten. It's something like that. They won again at the weekend. Uh, his Ream team beat Monaco or Monaco by a goal to nil. We had him on the show about six, seven weeks ago. And I've been begging him to come back on. And finally he's gone, oh, fine, OK. You could have me for three minutes. Will still. Hello, Will. How are you? Good evening. I'm all right. How are you? I'm good. I'm driving you mad, aren't I, to come on? I can only apologise. <laughs> but only because we love you, Will. Only because we love you. That's all right. That's not nice. um, listen, firstly, congratulations. I, I joked about how long your run is over 700 games, but it's something close to that. Where are you up to now? Uh, the team is in 19 unbeaten games. Wow. That's incredible, isn't it? And your club are still paying 22 grand every single match day to get you in the dugout. No, that, that fine has finally come to an end as the pro licence course that I'm on has, uh, has started. Oh, OK. Well, well, you've, got, you've got the qualifications now. I'm, I'm not finished it um, but I'm, I've started it and I'm enrolled on it so it's uh, ongoing oh that's not have you done a deal where you get half of that because you're saving the money anyway no, I haven't <laughs> renegotiated yet not yet <laughs> um, listen why um, I was going to say why is the team so successful at the moment it's obviously down to you a lot of it is down to you and the players of course as well have you noticed a big change in either mentality or style of play can you actually put your finger on as to what's happening at the club right now I don't think it's one specific thing. I think it's just that we, we try to create an environment where people want to be and people want to perform. Um, but it's also given a certain sort of, you know, part of responsibility and freedom to the players of, you know, just go out there and express yourselves and be yourselves um, and try and enjoy it as much as you can. Um, and that's maybe, you know, one thing that we didn't we didn't do in the past. But there, there is no sort of magic, you know, magic secret or, 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 or anything like that. It's just, you know, letting players be themselves, letting players express themselves and, and push them to try and enjoy it as much as possible, I think. Well, when you look at your next fixture, obviously Marseille is going to be a tough game. Um, it must have been pleasing for yourself to see, obviously, Balogun get back on the score sheet against uh, Monaco. Um, that Marseille game is going to be difficult, though, because I think they're second in the league, right? Yeah, no, it's going to be incredibly difficult. Um, they're second in the league. They've got an unbelievable squad. And... Uh, they play a really interesting style of football, which is, you know, pretty different to what Ligue 1 offers. Um, but, you yeah, know, it was important for Bayer to get back on the score sheet uh, because he'd, he'd not scored in, in, in a few games. Um, but we were never in doubt of him, you know, ever scoring again. Uh, it was just, you know, the, the ball wasn't quite falling or the, the chances weren't quite coming. Um, but, no, it was a good thing, yeah, for sure. Well, let me ask you, I've only got you for a couple of minutes, I know that. All right, so I've got to ask you the big questions. This is your fault I'm asking you the big questions, right? Now, last <laughs> last time you came on the show, we talked about your favourite club, West Ham. I know you're a West Ham fan. And after that, it went sort of viral on social media, lots of West Ham fans saying, we'll still should be our new manager if it doesn't work out with Moyes, etc. So, OK, here's my first question. Since we spoke, has, has any club from the Premier League been in contact with you? Even if it's maybe next season or the season after? No, no. Not yet, no. They haven't. Do you promise me that? No. You've got to say that for legal reasons. No, I don't know. I'm, I'm dead honest. No, All right, OK. Would, if West Ham came in for you next season, right, I know it's difficult if you, to answer this, would you sit down and listen to them? Uh, no, just out of respect for David Moyes because he's still there. If and, he wasn't uh, there, if he went. The job. If Will, Moyes is gone. He left. He was only called. We haven't got a manager. Do you want to come in for a chat, Will? What would you say? <laughs> Then I'd get them to get in touch with the club here and, you know. All right, so the club have said, well, West Ham, West Ham have been on the phone, Will. <laughs> Do you want to go and speak to him? It's up to you, Will. No, I'd, I'd, I'd have a think about okay, it. Okay, that's fine. Listen, I won't drive you mad anymore. I know I only had you for a couple of minutes, but are you good? Are you well? Is everything going, um, of course, on the pitch it is, but everything else all right for you? No, I'm, I'm, I'm all good. I'm all good. The, the, the rumours are spreading that, you know, I've, I've have no coaching diplomas and I've just landed here as a spotty sort of geek uh, from football manager um, and I have no coaching badges so uh, that rumour is obviously completely false well I think <laughs> I think we quashed them last time you were on right yeah 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 yeah. so they've gone out the window that's fine go on what were you going to say just, yeah now getting the record straight of you know people I, I have you know I did study at university and I haven't just landed here from, from football manager um but yeah, it's it's a story that people enjoy hearing and, and sell as well. So Well listen, let them speak because of course your results are, are speaking for themselves. I think that's fair to say. Do you have any plans to come over to this country at any time soon? Well we'd love to get in the studio. 
Uh, as soon as I've got some time off and a, and a bit of holidays, then uh, yeah, I should be coming to visit family at some will point. You, will you come in and see us and not Jim White? <laughs> it's a possibility. The door's open. Okay, all right. Mm. Well, listen, our door's always open, and we've got some hobnobs as well. Um, it's, <laughs> it's a real pleasure, Will. Thank you. I know I drive you mad to come on, but I appreciate it. It's very kind of you. No, no. no. Thank right. you. We'll speak to you Good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks, Will. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Thank there, you. There you go, Will Still. His team are unbelievable. They're flying, right? yeah. I, I reckon everyone's talking about him now. Everyone's talking about this this young kid that's in charge of a team over in France that can't stop winning. Yeah, they're flying. Just, I mean, they're eighth in the, at the minute, but it's their unbeaten run. Balogun scoring goals as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's, he's, in a, he's in a real good place right now. Yeah, and a big thank you to him. We only had him for a couple of minutes. That was the deal. He just said, I'll come on for two, three minutes. That's all you got. He's a busy man. Today is anyway. So we appreciate that. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.